This is the News at 4. Thanks for being with us here on the News at 4 on your Friday. I'm Joe Paris. And I'm Brenda Rodriguez. Happy Friday, Joe. Happy Friday. Well, we start with this. A 15-year-old is lucky to be alive after the, the car that he was working on fell on him. The car jack he was using failed, and his best friend and firefighter saved his life. Now he wants others to keep safety top of mind when working on cars. It was a regular day. Well, that's what I thought. Giovanni Soto isn't new to fixing his own cars. I always try to do it myself because that lets me learn and stuff. But this time, something went wrong. He and his best friend Harris were fixing his truck, the truck they used to get to work. I went to put the second jack underneath, and I was halfway underneath. So once I was started jacking up the other one, I heard a click. I don't know if the jacks, but then all I know is the truck just fell on me. It all happened in just a couple of seconds. And then I started screaming, ah, get this off me. You know, I was just in a lot of pain. Harris helped lift the car while they waited for help to arrive. I was able to like pick it up by the back end just so it could get off his side and wasn't just laying on his hip. Giovanni was sent to the hospital to receive treatment on his injuries. Uh, it's the hip and the leg. Sometimes when I wake up in the mornings, I can't feel my leg at all. So they think it's something to do with my nerve. It was a call his mother, Cassandra Soto, says she hopes no mother receives. You never think that you ever have to go through that, you know. But I, and in the same, I was kind of happy that I could hear that he was talking and he was moving, you know. So it was just kind of mixed emotions. Giovanni now hopes other people lead their projects with safety in mind. I should have known it, I shouldn't have had those type of jacks for a truck like that, but I did. And I should have put more jacks on before I got under the truck. It's just it hurt a lot and hope no one has to go through that. Meineke Auto's general manager, Charlie Fiskes, says these types of accidents are actually common. I've seen those scissor jacks roll out from under vehicles all the time, and essentially that's probably the number one thing that I see, unfortunately. And he says it's important to have proper education when working on cars. You have to learn the do's and don'ts. There is people that, yes, they can work on their cars as long as they're comfortable with it. Having the proper jack, he says, is key to preventing accidents like this one. A lot of people will use those little emergency scissor jacks to change a spare tire or something like that. That is for an emergency only. These might look familiar to you. That's because your car might come with one. They're incredibly flimsy. They're not something that you want to use unless it's in a dire emergency. Instead, use something like this. This is a jack that will support plenty of weight. And this is how you use it. You simply pump it down. It'll raise the weight of the vehicle until you're to a proper height. That's when you want to take this jack stand, put it under the car, raise it up until a proper supporting piece is underneath there. Then you want to take the jack, twist it left until it lowers down and the weight is bearing on here. As for Giovanni, he hopes to make a full recovery with the help of his mom and best friend. Harris is there every day. He's the one that watches him while I go to work and makes sure that he's getting his meds properly and that he's being fed. His family is raising funds to help pay for his medical bills. I know I'll be okay, but just trying to get through those bills and get to a, get into a place and get what we need to get for them. Prayers are what counts the most for me right now. You know, I just want to make sure he's okay. And their goal is to raise $30,000 to help cover medical bills. If you'd like to help, we'll have this linked on our website at ktvb.com.